It's the girls squad. The meeting is now called to order. Will the secretary please call the roll? Mrs. Becker. Here. Mr. Cancro. Mrs. Chu. Here. Mr. Hong. Mrs. Lax. Here. Mrs. Reese. Here. Mr. Siler. Here. Siler, I'm sorry. Mrs. Shaw. Here. And President Simmons. Here. We have a quorum. Please rise to salute the flag. The New Jersey Open Public Meetings Law was enacted to ensure the right of the public to have advance notice of and to attend the meetings of public bodies at which any business affecting their interest is discussed and acted upon. In accordance with the provisions of this act, the response Board of Education has caused notice of this meeting to be published by having the date, time, and place thereof posted at the board offices located at 760 Route 18, East Brunswick, New Jersey. The notice was also provided to the Sentinel, the Newark Star Ledger, the Home News and Tribune, and the Municipal Clerk of East Brunswick, New uh, East Brunswick. All board meetings, ex with the exception of executive session discussions, are videotaped for later broadcast. It is the policy of the Board of Education that videotaped meetings are not edited for any purpose. Individuals who speak at the board's public meetings should be aware of these videotaping rules. And good evening, everyone. We'll begin with the superintendent's report. Dr. Valeski. Thank you, President Simmons. Good evening, everyone. The artwork on display in the boardroom this evening was created by students from Irwin Elementary School. <coughs> the art teachers of these talented students are Kristen Wagner and Susan Brewer. Joanne Schmilowitz is the principal. We had an overwhelmingly positive response to the new format at our back to school nights. Beginning the night with a brief video in the classroom and allowing more time with your child's teacher was well received. On Tuesday, September 12th, the high school held their annual activity fair to introduce students to clubs and extracurricular activities offered at the high school. The event was a great success as over 500 students attended and more than 45 clubs were represented. On Saturday, September 23rd, along with Susanna Chu and Dr. Joyce Boley, I had the pleasure of attending a traditional memorial ceremony held to commemorate Confucius' birthday <coughs> as well as, as his philosophy and contribution to the world. This ceremony was hosted by the New Jersey Chinese community and led by Deputy Director General Franklin F.Y. Chen of the Taipei Economic and Cultural Office. Students from the Association of the New Jersey Chinese Schools performed a traditional Confucian ceremonial dance dressed in ancient Chinese scholar uniforms. Approximately 215, 250 audience members participated. On Saturday, September 23rd, I also had the pleasure of attending the fourth annual East Brunswick Day at the East Brunswick Community Arts Center. Members of our community enjoyed food from the local restaurants, a free bouncy house, a silent auction, and great entertainment. This wonderful day enabled us to show our EB pride. We were also a resource for many parent questions about our district and schools. This week, the Dahlenbox Field Study launched grade six students into their ecology unit. Students rotate through five stations of study, forest layers, stream ecology, soil ecology, tree morphology, and limnology. Each station highlights an important aspect of the mature forest ecosystem found at Dahlenbox Natural Area. We appreciate the work of Director Michael Reisner and his staff at the East Brunswick Township Division of Parks and Recreation for their support in maintaining the natural area for our use. In sports, Jordan Horowitz has an outstanding achievement of 500 kills in her volleyball career and more to come. Phoebe Sue and Lexi Roshkovan are GMC champions at the second and third singles respectively. On this evening's agenda is a resolution of proclamation for National Principals Month. I'm proud to publicly recognize the important work of our principals and assistant <coughs> principals. We appreciate their dedication and commitment to the students and the community. Also on this evening's agenda is a resolution of proclamation for Fire Prevention Week, which is October 8th through the 14th. The theme this year is Every Second Counts, Plan Two Ways Out. We are grateful to Fire Marshals John Talbot and Sean Verdi, the Fire Prevention Bureau, and the volunteer fire personnel who come into our schools to present educational programs to our students. 
Each year, East Brunswick's Fire Prevention Bureau collaborates with our art teachers in grades K to 5 to sponsor a fire safety poster contest. The East Brunswick Education Foundation will host a celebrity dance-off on Sunday, October 5th at 7 p.m. at 15th. I'm sorry, what did I say? Fifth. I'm having issues. Sorry. You're missing oh, that, yeah. that, that number one. I think it's my vision. October, I'm going to start all over again. The East <laughs> Brunswick Education Foundation will host a celebrity dance-off on Sunday, October 15th at 7 p.m. at the JM Pack. Yes, in 2017. More information can be found at ebnet.org. Can I just Thank recognize, you. since you ended on such a high note, sure. that mm -hmm. not only do we have one of this year's star participants right here at the dais, Mrs. Reese, we also have two alums, Mrs. Becker and Mr. Sealer. And, oh, and we and also Mr. have Mr. Figueroa is one of this year's. Yeah. Yes. This table's getting full of dancers. You're next. Yeah, yeah well, well, we'll see about that. Um, in any case. I would pay double. Yeah, I'm sure. Um, Mrs. Reese, Mr. Figueroa, good luck. Can't wait to watch you on the 15th. Um, be a lot of fun. It always is. And we raise a ton of money for the best cause that I can think of in this room. Great. Thank you. Now we're going to recognize the best principles in the state of New Jersey. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Here, here.